Hello, how you doing, Aquarius? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Grand Rising, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whenever you come across this channel, hope everyone is staying safe. My subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your birthday shout outs. I love you guys. Two new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. So, Aquarius, I had to do your video over. I'm going to keep your vibration cards here, but something happened, so I had to start over. So you, I'm going to keep the vibration cards. Your first card is water. Okay, you, um, some of you need to, you know, drink more water. Proper hydration calms your body, and it also increases your intuition. Okay, not only water, but also high vibe attraction is your other vibration card. Aquarius. Okay. It says attract high vibration to yourself. This is how you track things to yourself that helps raise your vibration, makes you feel good inside. And naturally you will attract high vibration energies. Okay. Spirit wants you to get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something as if somebody surprised you, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever it is that you, it is that you want in your life, pretend as though it has already happened. Be in that type of excitement so you can attract that very thing into your life. You have to be operating from a very high vibration in order for it to come in. You can't have negative thoughts in your mind. You have to walk in it as if it has happened. Okay. Okay. So that's your vibration. So we're going to see what spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. What is Aquarius vibration? Let's see what your vibration card Thank you, Spirit, guys. This is for Aquarius. What is Aquarius vibration card? Thank you, Spirit. Let's see what's going on, Aquarius, with your energy. I said vibration with your energy. Okay, Aquarius, I see victory. I see victory, victorious. I see, oh, my goodness, success. All right. Oh, my goodness. You're about to be victorious about something. What is it? You're very beautiful, very smart. Look at a queen, king, very victorious. OK, something is about to happen in your life. All right. Spirit, guys, another energy card for Aquarius, another energy card for Aquarius. Thank you. This is for Aquarius, another energy card for Aquarius. Thank you. This is for Aquarius. Oh, that's too many. That's a whole book. <laughs> Another energy card. Okay. So, Aquarius, I have two cards that hit the deck. Someone's envious of you, okay? You have the envy card and you have the door to personal healing and happiness. Whoever this is that's envious of you, Aquarius, you have the victory. They're mad because you have the victory. They're mad because you come out on top. They're mad that you, because you fought through this. They're mad because you, you, went after what it is that you wanted and you wanted to make it better. I feel like they're mad because you have healed and you are happy. Okay. It's something that you're victorious about that you're happy and someone don't like it. It could be someone in your neighborhood. It'd be somebody watching you online. Okay. They're very, they're definitely envious of your victory, of your healing, of your personal healing. They're envious of your happiness. Okay. That's the energy that is surrounded by you. And I feel as though spirit told me to take that. That's because whoever this person that's envious, they're lonely. They're lonely. They're sitting lonely in the world all by. They're depressed. Okay. They, they whoever this person that's envious, they're lonely. They depressed. Okay. And this type of person, this type of energy. Yep. They're depressed and lonely because they see your care and connection. That's what it is. Uh, they're depressed. They're not happy. And you know, when someone else sees you happy and it's a decision that you made, that somebody make a decision that you chose happiness over your life. You chose to be in a caring connection. You chose to be with somebody and this person depressed, sad in a dark space right now. It's a decision that you made. Why do I feel like, yeah, it has something to do with romance. Okay. Um, yeah, they're they're definitely see it's a decision it has something to do with your romance. Uh, maybe uh, why do I feel in my spirit that you, you love someone? You made a choice to stay with some a, a care and connection. Um, and this person don't like that you have healed and that you're happy and you moved on. Um, I feel like some of you 
you know, may, may have made a choice that you're going to stay with this Karen connection. And this person is over here in this evil spirit. OK, they're they're lonely. They're depressed. OK, this is for someone. Mm -hmm. They're high, house, hostile and, and mad. They're very angry. Uh, and I usually don't pull that many cards, but Spirit God wanted me to keep going. So someone's definitely not happy. They're very envious of you. They can be watching you on computer. All right. Not only that, they're depressed. They're in, they're in a bubble by themselves. OK, so let's see. Excuse me. Let's see what the star says, um, Aquarius. Let's see. And spirit guides, this is for Aquarius. What does the star say for Aquarius? Okay, let's see Aquarius. All right, what does the star say for Aquarius? Let's find out Aquarius. Okay, that was three cards that fell down. Let's get these two and see what spirit guides. They say you are a bright energy color uplifts you. Okay. They don't like your energy. Dream big. Spirit wants you to continue to dream big with this high vibrational card. Dream big Aquarius, whatever you're trying to manifest. Spirit said dream big, but because of your bright energy of who you are and someone don't like it. Um, I feel as though that this is the extra card that fell on the floor. It says past life emotions live in you. You are expressing more and it is releasing. I feel like you're a lot of emotions that you have carried over into this lifetime. This is something that you dealt with in your past life and you bring it in over. You have you have brought it over here in this lifetime, but you have released a lot of past life emotions that was in you. Um, some of you might feel very, very emotional at times or you did in the past and you are releasing a lot of that you becoming stronger that's because you had you had um past life it was like you went through that and you had to come over here to learn your lesson to become stronger okay but let's keep going uh with your dreams um yeah someone's definitely in a dark place that they don't like that they that you're happy but let's see um your heart knows the way let's see it's a heart yeah your heart knows the way, Aquarius. Spirit guys, Aquarius heart knows the way. Thank you, Spirit guys. Let's find out. Okay. Aquarius heart knows the way. Thank you. This is for Aquarius. <clears throat> Spirit guys, this is for Aquarius. Aquarius heart knows the way. Okay. One more card for Aquarius. All right, let's see. It says lean in anyway. OK, lean in anyway, Aquarius. Uh, some of you spirit just saying just lean in. You can get you can push through this. Just go in. Just push through this. OK, don't worry about that person. Don't worry. OK, just lean in anyway. Spirit guys, tell me more. One more card. All right. To be is your purpose, your purpose. What is your purpose? What is your purpose to be is your purpose to be within you, to be into your own self, to lean within your own self. OK, uh, you are you are bright. You are bright energy. And I feel as though that because you have care and connection, that you're happy with the person that you're with. I feel like there's going to be some victory that's going to come out of this decision that you made between maybe two people, two men, two women. OK, let's see what your ancestors say. Spirit guides, what is the ancestors, angels and ancestors saying? Thank you, spirit guides. Let's find out, Aquarius. What is the, the angels and ancestors are saying for Aquarius? Right, let's see. High priest, intend and create. Intend and create. Okay, your intentions, creativity, your intentions, intend and create your intentions. Okay. Um, I also feel as though that uh this is the high priest, okay? You you are you have a power that's within you, Aquarius. You you intend and create intentions, your intentions, okay? Your power, you can create anything that you want. Anything that you want. Spirit wants you to dream big. Don't 
settle for smalls. Spirit wants you to dream big. Okay. Thank you, Spirit guys. Tell me more, Spirit guys. All right. It says, Water Guardian, connect with your emotions. Water Guardian. I feel as though that a lot of you love water. Water Guardian. Spirit wants you to connect with your emotions, what you feel, okay? What it is, how you feel. Connect with your inner self of your feelings of how you feel, you know, because you definitely are beautiful. Okay, um, beautiful soul. Look at here. Look at her. Very beautiful. Water, emotions. Spirit just wants you to connect and feel with your own emotions. Because you have done a lot of healing, a lot of personal healing, and you're happy now. The doors are open, okay? But Spirit just wants you to keep your emotions control. Just keep your emotions intact. Control your emotions. Blue. It's something about blue. OK, um, I don't know if that's your favorite color, but blue surrounds you. Look that up. Blue is powerful as well. OK, but you have this. You have victorious. This is this decision that you made. OK, um, Aquarius, you have the victory of this decision. I feel like it's a Karen connection. It's somebody that you was with. You had to make a decision between two people and you chose you chose, you know, someone that you love. OK, and someone is envious because you did not choose them. I'm just saying this is for somebody. OK, this is for someone be to be is in your purpose. OK, spirit guys, what is the message? What are you trying to tell Aquarius? So Aquarius, I feel as though that um, you have healed. You showed up in your own reading. But someone, like I said before, is not happy. OK, you have the ten of, ten of cups in reverse. You have healed. You have poured it in yourself. You are a star. OK. So, um, yeah, I feel it also that you're intuitive. A lot of you are intuitive as well. Yeah, they don't want this journey to be over. This person is not happy at all, Aquarius. This could be an ex person. It could be somebody that you dealt with. They don't want this to be over. Yeah, will of fortune. Good things are not happening for them right now. They're not happy. OK, they are not happy. Yeah, they wanted to work on this with you. They wanted to build with you and they see that they can't. Yeah. Thank you, spirit guys. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> this person has awakened a judgment is here. They have had an epiphany that they're not happy without you. So that's for somebody. Let's see what the message is. Thank you, spirit guys. Yeah, this is someone that was around some negative energy people. It's almost like whoever this person was that you was dealing with. Maybe they had people, their family, their maybe brothers, sisters, cousins, putting things in their ear. Don't talk to her. Don't do this. Don't talk to him. Don't do this. They were around a lot of negative energy people. Because you're very beautiful, single, you you have your stuff together, okay, very independent, very grounded, uh, Aquarius, and they were just caught up with what other people were saying, what what other people might think, or what might what they might say, okay, um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, they held themselves back, okay, they held themselves back from you because they were worrying about what other people were saying. Mm -hmm. This could have been your twin flame that you were dealing with, Gemini, okay? Doesn't necessarily be, mean that. This was a lover's. This is someone that you might have had a situation with, just a friendship with, with something, something. Whatever it is, they were definitely around some negative people. People was talking in their ear, and they, um, he or she uh, was listening to them. But this person... Uh, was your soulmate. OK. Yeah. You have man. You have the magician. I feel as though a lot of you are very you can manifest anything you want. Um, you're definitely, you know, you can uh, feel like you could have manifested or they could could have man tried to manifest you back in their life. Um, but I see that a lot, a lot of you could be happy. You're just happy. You're happy with the person that you chose. This person that you chose, you feel like you're more stable with this person. 
grounded, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of prosperity around this connection, a lot of a lot of things in common with the person that you chose. Um, but, yeah, here it is. They're watching you. OK, they could be driving by your house, but they're definitely watching you because you have these two cards. Let me show you here. See here. Envy's looking out the window. They looking, they looking, they watch you online. They what could be driving by your house uh, and they're mad. Okay. They're mad because you did not choose them. He or she, when I say they it's he or she, they're mad because you didn't choose them. That's because they were around a lot of negative people. They, they had a lot of uh, negative minded people. You know, it was like, um, they wanted, it's almost like they wanted, they wanted to win at all costs. They was just feeling like, or they thought they was really going to win at all costs with you. I feel like some of you are with your, you're in a, you're in the partnership with this, with the person that you either did not, you know, with you, the person that you're with now, excuse me, I'm getting tired to, uh, is your, is your definitely your soulmate that you're with two of cups. You you're in this relationship. You're happy. You know, you have the victory with this new person, but the other person don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. You left him out in a cold or they he he left you out in a cold or you left him out in a cold. It was a decision that had to be made. I feel as though that he left you out in a the cold there. This person still stuck on you, Aquarius. He or she is still stuck on you. OK, you could have been dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. OK, you could also have been dealing with the Earth sign a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Um, but they're still they're stuck on you. They're watching you. Mm -hmm. But you had to move away from that. I feel as though you made the, you said, I, I, I got to go towards you where your heart was at. And you left this situation. OK, because it was definitely stressing you out. OK. All right. Yeah, they're sad. Look at here. Here it is. They're very sad and they very sad. They looking back on the nostalgia memories that y'all had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said, nope. Some of you said, nope, I'll wait for my other ships to come in. OK, some of you are Aquarius. Some of you are in a, this this person that you chose. That's why you have the victory. Let me show you. Yeah, you have healed over this per you have healed, but you have the victory. You have the victory. You have the ten of pentacles. This choice that you made is longevity. This is the person that you are meant to be with on this light in this lifetime. But not only that, Aquarius, you have some type of windfall money coming towards you. You have some type of um alimony inheritance. Something is coming towards you that's gonna, you know, that's longevity, okay? But yeah, they're upset because you did not choose him or her. OK, they're definitely upset because you did not choose him or her. You have, you know, you have healed from this person. OK, but this person have not definitely have not got you out of their head. Um, they're definitely envious of you. They're depressed. They're lonely. OK, um, and it was because of the people that they chose to listen to. I, I don't know if they interfered with. Was something, you know, they in, it interfered with something y'all had between each other. So let me, um, just, I have some char some charms here. So y'all, um, put the phone on mute for a minute while I twirl these around. Cause it's going to be very loud on your ear. Okay. And let's see what spirit got. Let's just sum, sum up your reading. Sum up your reading. Let's see what we got going here. Aquarius. All right. So Aquarius, let's see what we got. Doo -doo -doo. You have the victory. Um, I see a lot of sports here. Let me pull, let me pull a couple of, a lot of sports here. Okay. Aquarius, I feel as though some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, I feel like um, if this is something, a decision you made, uh, you choose a romance and you left this person, uh, this person that's going to come towards you could play some sports, heavy in sports. Okay? Um, I also see uh, an angel. It's almost like angel butterfly wings, angel transitioning. Yeah. Um, basketball. 
lift weights. Somebody uh, lift weights very heavy. Somebody, someone does a lot of lifting weights. Uh, softball, fo football. Let me get one, one more spirit, guys. Okay, now a key. I also feel as though a key, someone's, uh, I feel like that's a key to someone's heart. Uh, transitioning, you have a butterfly here. Also came into the mix, you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? I see angel wings. I feel like this is divinely guided. The angels help find your way back to this, this, this person that you were once um, trying to make a decision on and y'all are back together. Transitioning. Beautiful. I see butterflies, a lot of transition and angels, angel wings. Um, very beautiful for some of you. The person that you're going to meet, either going to like football, sports, so softball. OK, a lot of softball in here, a lot of softball, basketball. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful thing, basketball. So, yeah, that's the ending of it. So Aquarius, it looks like you made a decision for someone and this person is just not happy, but you done what made you happy and it, you, you love this person that you're with now. So congratulations until next time.